Welcome. One of the things that pops up in Adobe Lightroom Classic is some confusion over the difference of catalogs, folders, and collections. So here we are in the library module, and we have some cute images of a puppy here. On the left-hand side is where we're going to spend most of our time, and one of the top areas is catalogs. And this is really the structure of how Lightroom Classic works, that we have a catalog and anything we import into it goes into that catalog. It has our images, our thumbnails, our settings. It all makes up our catalog. And whenever possible, it's best to have all your images in a single catalog because that allows us to search by keywords, metadata, attributes. You can't search across multiple catalogs. So the catalog is where everything lives. That's fairly straightforward. And we can see this catalog has 33,455 images. There are 18 images synced with Lightroom or Lightroom Mobile. We can talk about collections in a minute. And the last time I imported, I brought in 78 items. So that's pretty straightforward. The next thing down is folders. Now, folders actually mimic your computer and all where all your images are actually stored. So we can see on the left-hand side, Macintosh hard drive. There's a pictures folder. And inside the pictures folders, there's 7,310 images. And if I open that up in the year 2023, there's about 6,100. And there's a whole folder structure with that. And we can see how that I do everything by date. And if we go down just a little bit further, I'll close down pictures for a second. There is a BU6A, stands for Backup 6A for me. And it's grayed out because, well, that hard drive's not plugged in right now. But there's also a BU7A, and that hard drive is plugged in, so Lightroom can see it. And I have images that were stored there, they're imported in. But let's go back to the Pictures folder here. I'm going to right-click on this folder, and I'm just going to go Show in Finder. So it's going to bring up the Finder, and what we can see, it's an exact mimic. This is the Finder on my computer, and there's pictures 2023, 202301. And you can kind of see how that works here. Everything just matches up. So that's pretty nice with that. We'll jump back in so we can see this pup here, Sesame. So that's folder. So again, folders match exactly where your images are stored on your computer. And then we get to what I would consider one of my favorite things, and that actually is collections. And you'll notice real quickly, I have a lot of different collections. Now, collections are great because when you move something into a collection, it's not duplicating the image, it's just kind of making a reference. So let's set by an example here. I have a collection and I'm gonna say, let's create a new collection and it's gonna be a, oh, it's an article of puppies for a magazine. And I could add a name to it. And I don't wanna include the selected ones right now. So I'm just gonna create a new collection and it goes by alphabetical. So there it is, puppy collection down here. And there's nothing in it. As you can see, there's nothing in that folder. Now I'm gonna jump back up to my pictures and I'll jump over to Sesame here. And I can say, you know, this is a pretty darn cute image. So I'm gonna drag this into that collection. I'm gonna close a few things down. And let's see, Puppy Magazine. I'm gonna put this one in there. And now there's one image in there. And there's gotta be a few other cute ones. I like this one quite a bit. So we'll drop this one in. And it just so happens that I was helping out at a local shelter yesterday. So I'm gonna jump into Cinnamon, cause Cinnamon's another cute pup from a local rescue. And I'm gonna bring in this image and just gonna drag that over. So the nice thing is I haven't duplicated any images on there. It's just if I wanna use these for magazines. But here's a great thing. I could also add this image of a puppy, let's say to a slideshow. So well, I'll just add this into, well, it's not macro, so I'll just put it in under feet. So now that image is in two collections. So you can have an image in as many collections as you like coming from anywhere in your different folders, anywhere from your different collections. So let's click on that collection here. So I just have those three images. And the nice thing, it's all organized. So if, if I wanted to work on these or if I wanted to export them out, 
I could. So collections is just a reference point. Let's dig a little bit deeper in collections because you might have seen earlier, go way back up here, we had a quick collection, but there's no plus next to it. We can add something to a quick collection if we like, we don't wanna name it, oh, I just gotta do something real quick, make a collection. But I'm a fan of something called targeted collections. And if you haven't done this before, the quick collection is gonna have a little plus sign. I'm gonna scroll back down to my collections and I can see the demo has a plus sign. And that means it's a targeted collection. If I scroll over an image and I'm even in a collection, there's a little circle up here right there where my mouse goes in that corner. If I click on it, it goes into a targeted collection. So I'm gonna come back down here to Puppies Magazine. I'm gonna right click and set as target collection and all of a sudden I get the plus sign. So let's back jump back up to We'll jump up to Cody, another pup at a res the rescue. And I click on this image here and you'll notice there's that little circle. And if I click on it, that, and it stays now, that image has been added to my pup collection. So I go down here and that was added that quickly. So it's a really nice, quick way. If you wanna add something to collections, you just kind of, instead of dragging it, you can just click on the image and that number for, Puppies Magazine has grown. Let's take a look at one last thing here. So in collections, these are normal collections, but I've got these other things that look like, well, little card catalogs or albums, and that's what they are. They're actually albums. It's a way of organizing collections into kind of a group. So I'm gonna open up one called Illuminated Photographer, and these are all different collections, but they're within one album. And it's very simple to create an album. You can just go, oh, excuse me, a set, create collection set. So it's a set of different collections. So I could create one and I can move different collections into it. We also have one more thing called smart collections. Now, smart collections are pretty neat because by default, you already have one built because it comes with Lightroom Classic. And you can see that little gear icon down here. And what this does, you can have different properties. So let's see, there's one by default called past month. That's all the images that have been added during the past month. I didn't have to add that one. Lightroom already had it. Everything with five stars. But let's say I wanna create my own. Now I can go up to the plus sign or I'm just gonna right click and create smart collection. And I'm just gonna call this test cause I'll end up tossing it out. And where do I wanna put it? I'll put it in the smart collections and then I can figure out what I wanna have. All right, I wanna do by ratings, but maybe I wanna do by mm, camera info. Maybe it's the camera serial number. Maybe I work with multiple cameras and if I type in a serial number here, all the images captured with that camera will go into that smart collection. Automatically, there's nothing I need to do. And in fact, I could say, well, I want that camera but I only want the images with a rating of, let's say four or greater. And if I create that collection, well, I already got it because I left it blank. So anything with that four or more automatically went in there. We can see that four or looks like yeah, four or more automatically just dropped into there. I don't use fours and fives very much, obviously. So that's automatic. So there's a lot of way to stay organized. So a quick little recap. Catalog is everything in our catalog. And it's nice because it can show a previous import, variety of other things. The folders match exactly what's on our computer, just like in our finder. And collections are just a quick holding spot that if we wanna create something to use later. The other thing nice about collections is, I'll go back to Puppies Magazine. If you're gonna do a book or a slideshow, it really pulls from collections. So if I click on, uh, we'll click on book right here. And it's just gonna take a second, it looks like. There we go. And you'll notice that it only goes, we don't have our catalog on the left, we don't have our folders, we have our collections. So book and slideshow, they like to, and the web for that matter, really like to pull from the different collections. So, Hopefully you found that helpful.